Welcome back to To Dare Is The Spurs episode 5 and here's the team that I have now and I've got two legends in there if you remember I've got Sol Campbell and Teddy Sheringham out of the pot and I've also got Gary Hooper, I did have his normal one then but because he recently has got an inform, I've got the inform in the team. Three people making their debuts, so I've got Sheringham, Hooper and Sol Campbell. So if any of them get a goal, then that's a debut goal adding to another player out of the cup. And as you can see on the bench, I have held up a Steger. He still hasn't played a game. As you can see, no games so far and I actually packed him as well. But no game so far, so if he plays and scores, there's another player as well. So for the first game, I'm going to be playing an online single match again, as I don't feel confident enough to play in the divisions with this team just yet, as I would like to get some good players out of the pot still, as I've still got a few good players on the bench in the reserves, as you can see, I've got Lineker, Lloris, upgraded Ericsson, as I'm recording this just after they've done the upgrades, so I've got upgraded at upgraded Ericsson, got Harry Kane's in form of 74 rated, I did have the 71 as well, but 74 rated, and as soon as his 77 rated gold player comes out, then I'll have that one there as well, but we've still got Bale there as well, still have good players, but let's just get into another single match and see if I can win and get a few more players out of this cup. So we've got an opponent straight away, and this is who we're playing up against. Oh my god. He's got Andre Chemistry, just like me, but he's got Aguero up front. He's got some decent defenders like Miranda. He's got Fernandinho and Bravo in goal, but that's all I know from this. Sheridan, no! That was the chance. That was the chance to get a goal, and you fucked it up, Sheridan. Can't bloody believe it. My legend missed. Yes, Michael Carrick, 90th minute winner, that must be, yes Carrick, oh wow, I get the win but no debut goals by the looks of it, and there you go, the final whistle, we do get a win, but sadly no debut goals, so all we get is one player out of the cup, not that great really, but what can you do? And here's the player ratings. Teddy Sheridan got an 8.2. Gary Hooper didn't particularly have that much of a good game. 7 as the rating. But there we go. Man of the match is Michael Carrick with 8.3 as he got the winner. And I think Teddy Sheridan got 8.2 because he assisted. But yeah, if we actually lost this game, we would have lost our left back, Henry. Not that great. But oh well. Let's... Get that one player out of the cup and see who it is. Right, so let's get the player out of the cup and see who it is. I'll shake it nicely. And yeah, I'm sorry about my voice at the moment. I'm still getting over my cold and stuff, so... But we'll wait and see how that goes. But anyway, let's pick the player out. I'll go nice deep one and just pick a player. Okay, we've got one. We've got one. And it is... Barnard, okay, that's good. I know he's got an inform, so let's put him in the team and see how it looks now. Right, so here's how the team looks right now. The only bad thing is I've took out Sutton off the bench and put Hooper there, but because he didn't have that much of a good game, I um, put him on the bench. But there's Barnard up front, which is not bad. Another inform that we can use. So we'll see what he can do in the next online single match. So here we go for the last match of this video. We're playing against this side and it looks quite good. He's got three informs that I have no idea who they are. But yeah. This is gonna be tough I think. Oh, Carrick though. It's a goal! It's Carrick again! Oh no, it's offside. It's offside. Oh no. He was well offside, I didn't even notice. Oh, it's gone in again, but I think it's offside. It is, because I can't do any skill moves. Second time it's been offside. And that would have been the debut goal as well. Typical. 
and get two goals disallowed because of offside and he just goes through and scores. Of course he does. Yes, there we go. Is that Teddy? Is that Teddy? There he is. His first goal for the club. For today's Spurs anyway. But get in. Teddy Sheridan. That's a great leap. Great header. We're 1-1 back into the game. Oh, so unlucky by Barnard. He just couldn't get it on target. And there's the full-time whistle. An absolute boring match. I found something out in this game. Barnard is absolute crap. So there's the final stats. I've had 12 shots, 7 on target, 52% position. I was all over this bloke. He was so lucky. I had two goals disallowed as well. So I don't bloody know. So we don't get any players and we don't lose any players for this game. Okay then, well, we're going on to extra time then. I forgot that online single matches do not finish in draws. Yes, Barnard's got a goal. He's got the goal. It's 2-1. It's a debut goal. Extra time. Wow. He actually got a goal and there was me saying he was shit. Well, he can win headers. That's all he can do. But, God, there. Well done. 2-1. So there's the half-time stats in extra time. Right, there we go. Sharing them to Carrick. Carrick. Barnard. He's got another one. Come on! 3 1. Barnard's second goal of the game, and he actually scored a brilliant shot as well. So I'm quite happy with him there. Well done. You might have just redeemed yourself. So there we go. We got the full time result of 3 1. We got a good win. And Lee Barnard got two goals, which is a debut player. Debut player? That's a player out of the cup. 3 1 victory, so we get two players from this game. But there's Barnard getting two goals, showing him the other one. So showing him in two games has got two goals. That is not bad at all. Here's the player ratings. Carrick and Sheridan both got an 8.7, which is really good. Carrick got man of the match. He's been really solid to me lately, Carrick, in, well, in these two games. But I remember from before, when I'd done the um, video last week, he was brilliant, Carrick. He's been doing really well for me in that centre mid, so I'll be keeping him there for quite some time. But we've got Lee Barnard of 8.4 there, so that's not bad. Not a bad debut, to be honest. He did start off a bit bad, but he he made up for it by getting two goals to win the game. So now we'll get those two players and see who they are. Right, so we get two players from the cup. So let's just shake it about. Give it a nice shake, like so. Okay, and let's pick the player. Nice deep one again. And then we can see, I'll make sure I've got it in the, in the shot. Alright, I've got one, I've got one. Here it is, right here. Who is this person? Stephen Corker, okay. We've got a centre back. That is not bad. Stephen Corker, okay. Shake it a bit more, that should be enough. We'll put it straight in again. We'll pick the second player out. What will it be? Alright, we've got one, and the player is Dawson, oh God's sake, Michael Dawson, do not you want him, he's not good really, but, so we've got two centre backs from these, and it's not great really, Corker's nice, I don't mind him, but Dawson, that's not really who I wanted, but we'll put him in the team, and see how it looks, right, so here's how the team looks, Right now, we've got Corker in there, and I thought because Ezekiel Fires used to play at left back, I'll put him at left back, he's got better stats than Henry, and it doesn't really affect the chemistry at all, so I'll put him at left back, so the team does look actually better now, with these players in. I'll probably keep Barnard, because he did better than Hooper, but I will eventually put Held Up a Seagull on to have his debut. That is it for today's episode of Totero Spurs, I'm only playing two games like I normally said I would. So we've got Corker out of the cup and we've got Barnard in form out of the cup. We also